Hi, welcome everyone. In this video tutorial, we will be learning how to debug OpenSea source code using Python input file in Visual Studio. In this tutorial, we will learn in detail about uh, every step involved in this uh, debugging process. Let's get started. These are uh, all the basic steps that are involved in this uh, debugging process. So the first step involves setting up the development environment. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to use Visual Studio and uh, second step is to compile the open source code third step involves getting the python input file which we are going to use in this debugging process and fourth one is linking that uh, python input file to the visual studio debugger and then setting some breakpoints in the source code and then some additional configurations such as a uh, release mode debug configuration and uh, replacing dot pyd file in the python package with the debug version the first two steps setting up the development environment and uh, compiling source code i have already explained them in uh, one of our previous videos type youtube type elastropy so the, this is our channel This is the tutorial I mentioned about. In this tutorial, I clearly explained about uh, how to compile uh, OpenSys source code version uh, 3.5.0. Here I explained about uh, all the prerequisites that needs to be installed to get this compilation successful and uh, all the necessary steps involved in this uh, compilation process. Please do watch this video before coming to this uh, debugging video. And then uh, we have to download this uh, Python input file. In this tutorial, we are going to use uh, the basic Elastic Trust Analysis example that is presented in OpenSys Py documentation website, uh, example number 14.1.1. And the next steps, linking input file to the debugger, setting up breakpoints in the source code, additional configurations such as release debug mode configuration and uh, replacing .pyd file in the Python package with the debug version. Uh, we will see these uh, steps in live. Let's get started. This is our um, uh, source code that was uh, successfully compiled. So let's open this. So here OpenSys is our main project. So let's open the properties of this uh, project and see in this debugging process, the first uh, three points such as command, command arguments and uh, working directory. These are uh, very important. We have to change these things. Let's see what is there in this target path. So let's edit. So currently this target path is directed to opensys.exe when we are going to debug uh, this tcl file this target part is correct but when we are going to use python input file for debugging we have to change this we have to give uh, python.exe file path so that is available at uh, anaconda3 directory so i'm going to give this one as this uh, command argument and then uh, the input file the input file that i downloaded from that uh, opensys website i kept in this directory python input file so this is a uh, elastic trust.py the one the same file that is available on the website i didn't make any modifications to it i'm going to give this one as argument here elastic trust.py and then the working directory the project directory is the directory where the input file exists so our input file exists in this uh, project 8 python input file location so i'm going i'm giving that and then if you look at uh, the way we compile the source code using this uh, release mode in release mode direct debugging is not possible we have to change the properties of uh, projects to enable debugging in the release mode. The properties that needs to be changed are already listed in this uh, Microsoft website. I'll provide this link in the description. So please do change these properties if you want to debug using a Python input file. I'm going to change these properties for this two projects, OpenSys and OpenSys Py. So let's first change the properties for this uh, OpenSys project. C++ so the first one is set to program database ZI 
yeah z a or c seven anything is fine and then uh, in the linker incredible incremental linking is set to no this one is already set we don't have to do anything there and in the debugging node we have to set this one yes yes generate debug information and then apply and then in the optimization mode we have to set up this references to yes opref and then enable code mat folding to yes opt icf and then apply similarly we are going to make the same settings for this open spy project as well so general debugging information is gi fine and then the linker general enable incremental linking option set to no that's fine and then in the debugging we have to set this property to yes that is slash debug apply and then in the optimization set this property to yes and then in the code mat set this property to yes that's it apply that's it i changed the properties for uh, both of these things and then let's build the solution build started and uh, it will take a while meanwhile let's see the input file so this is the input file uh, that we are going to use in this debugging process let's open this this is a basic um, trust analysis example here it has four nodes four nodes are connected with three elements and uh, we are going to put breakpoints in the source code that corresponds to this trust keyword so let's find the source code that corresponds to this trust keyword i'm going to use trust.cpp yes this one let's put a breakpoint here to make sure that uh, trust.cpp is the correct input file or not uh, we have to look into another uh, source file that is element commands this one tcl element commands.cpp here search for uh, trust keyword so there are many so here is our uh, string comparison code so here we are comparing this uh, trust with small t and the trust word with capital t so if any of these uh, keywords are triggered means if the argument contains any of these two keywords so we are setting the element to ops underscore trust element so this is the main function and uh, that is this so we are in the right file trust.cpp our project is successfully compiled but if you look at here 24 succeeded and uh, 4 failed sometimes when you compile the source code in the release configuration some projects may fail in the first build due to some incompatible linkage so let's build it again and see if we see this four projects failed again one failed what is that this is open link so see if we can successfully compile it by building it again that's it three succeeded zero failed 25 up to date so what happens is when you see any project failed in the first stage so don't worry just do a another compile and see if the same project is failed again or not if same project failed again then there is a problem so which you need to debug by using the hints that are listed in this uh, error span okay currently we don't have any errors but if you have any errors so all those errors will be listed here i have put a breakpoint here shown in this uh, red color so let's run this a local windows debugger See if you look at here this uh, analysis is passed that's what we have given in this input file so if this ux and ui displacements are these so then we print this keyword passed if there is a change in this results so we print this keyword failed so our analysis is successful but 
our objective didn't achieved yet actually so our objective is to stop the source code at a particular location that is this so why this is not happening is because when i debug open sys using python input file we are going to call this python.exe when we run the input file .py input file from uh, python so it basically uses the open sys dot pyd file that is available in the pip installation location that is this this opensys.pyd is um, basically the one that comes with uh, pip install we need to change this with our uh, custom file so i'm going to copy this and paste as a um, old file just for backup purposes i'm going to replace this file uh, opensys.pyd file the one that we downloaded using pip install i'm going to replace it using the one that we just compiled using debug configuration that is this this is available in this win64 slash bin location so i'm going to copy this and then i'm replacing it here so if you look at here this is compiled at uh, 27 9 2023 20, 6 10 let's see if we can stop there It stopped we can do all the step-by-step -step debugging process here actually you can step over you can see um, the values in all these variables by using this quick watch or add watch so if this one num data is set to one and uh, C mass is set to zero do rally is set to zero etc and the i data is an array you can watch the values in them as uh, one one four let's see if we can print some statements in this um, source code to use a c out in our uh, open c source file we have to use an include file called iostream And then you have to use uh, standard C++ library using std. And then you can use uh, cout command from std cout. Yeah. I am in trust.cpp. Let's build this. So three succeeded, zero failed, all are good. Now you have to copy this um, opensys.pyd file that we just compiled using a cout statement. And then we have to replace this with this. That's it. Now run it it stopped here see you can see this i am in trust.cpp now this is the way we debug uh, source files using uh, python input file let's see if we can use this uh, debugging version of this uh, Python that is opensys.pyd in Python packages such as spider or Jupyter notebook. This is the spider ID. So if you look at here, opensyspy.opensys. So this we expect to use um, this uh, debugging version of this opensys. So let's run this. See, you will see this. Uh, I am in trust.cpp. Let's run again. I am in trust.cpp let's run one more time i am in trust.cpp so what you basically see here is the open sys pyd file that we used in this uh, session is not the one that we uh, that we got from uh, pip installation so this is the one that we just compiled it using our changes in the source code this is one way of uh, printing statements using cout 
so i recommend an another way that is to use this ops error command if you use this uh, open sys ops error command you no need to uh, declare this uh, input io stream or uh, namespace std so let's delete them and uh, i'm deleting this uh, std statement also because i deleted uh, namespace std and uh, io stream so i'm going to put our uh, warning here i am in trust.cpp let's build it for succeeded 24 up to date this one is good now copy this uh, opensys.pyd and uh, paste it here sometimes we get this uh, warning message that stating that file is open in another program we cannot replace it so what you can simply do is we can rename this file the old file the old uh, the previous debugging file that we are using in this uh, spider id i'm going to place a new one that is open sys compiled at 625 i'm going to use that one here actually see this one also worked you can also see them in action here it stopped here and uh, if you look at here this uh, terminal is empty let's see if this error message is printed or not i am in trust.cpp that's it we are in good shape let's see if we can use this uh, debugging version of opensys in jupyter this is our uh, jupyter notebook i am going to start a new notebook all i'm going to do is i'm copying this input file and pasting it in the cell that's it it's passed and it printed the error message i am in trust.cpp that's it and this opens this debugging version is working fine actually so let's close this you can make any of your changes to this uh, open c source code trust.cpp or uh, any other files involved in this commands okay so if you want to change some properties to the routines corresponding to this elastic keyword or you can make some uh, changes to this fixed keyword or anywhere you can make changes to the source code and uh, do a build and then copy this uh, opensys.pyd file and then replace this uh, opensys.pyd file that is available in this pip installation location using the one that you just compiled that's it after replacing this file so you will be able to use it in uh, any of your uh, python files if you face any errors in the compilation or uh, debugging process do let me know in the comments i'll try to address them as soon as possible if you like our content please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to our channel Happy learning thank you